China's domestic shipbuilding and equipment manufacturing industries have been developing rapidly in the past decade, boosted by technological developments and innovations. A recent milestone was the completion of a massive FPSO, a floating production storage and offloading platform, which is used to process and store offshore oil and gas. At a shipyard in Nantong City in East China's Jiangsu province, a manager for the company that makes the vessel said, with a price tag of roughly 1.4 billion U.S. dollars each, they're expecting a boost in revenues from overseas orders. We currently have quite a number of overseas orders on hand, and the share of high-end vessels is on the rise. One of the company's FPSOs has recently been delivered to Brazil, where state-owned oil and gas giant Petrobras will put it to use. As the FPSO doesn't have a self-propulsion mechanism, towing it tens of thousands of kilometers took three months and a lot of patience. Our towing plan involved a fleet of 11 vessels, including nine tugboats and two escort boats. The total length of the towing formation was over 650 meters, with a width of more than 80 meters. This was the largest towing operation ever conducted on the Yangtze River. New data from the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology shows that China captured more than 70 percent of the global orders for green ships in the first three quarters of the year, covering all major vessel types.